Last summer, Pope Benedict called for a year of faith, which would begin on October 11th, 2012, and run until November 24th, 2013. He announced this special year of grace with a letter entitled Porta Fidei, the Door of Faith, which is a quote from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verse 27, where we read, They called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. As the door of faith was opened to the Jewish apostles and their co-workers, so God, through their missionary work, opened the door of faith to the non-Jewish Gentile people. Pope Benedict began his letter with these words, the door of faith is always open for us, ushering us into the life of communion with God and offering entry into his church. It is possible to cross that threshold when the word of God is proclaimed and the heart allows itself to be shaped by transforming grace. To enter through that door is to set out on a journey that lasts a lifetime." End quote. Unfortunately, in many parts of the world, the door of faith is closed, even locked shut against entry. This is the focus for Pope Francis' mission intention this month, as we pray that throughout the continent of Asia, doors may be opened to messengers of the gospel. Asia is the continent where Catholicism is growing at the fastest rate. It is the largest and most populous continent, and yet only 3.3% of the over 4 billion people who live there are Catholic. Every year, the U.S. State Department issues a report on the state of religious freedom in the world. In its 2012 report, eight countries were given the designation of particular concern because of severe violations of religious freedom. Of those eight, six are in Asia and two are in Africa. The Asian countries are Burma, China, North Korea, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Uzbekistan. Notice other Asian countries where churches have been burned and Christians have been kidnapped and killed, like India and Iraq, and Syria and Pakistan are not mentioned. We pray then for Asia, where Jesus Christ was born, died, and rose from the dead, and where the Christian faith was first received and grew, spreading into Europe and Africa. We pray that the doors of faith may be open to contemporary apostles who share God's desire that every person come to know the love that is revealed in Jesus Christ and be saved. We pray in the words of Blessed John Paul II, who in his first homily as Pope said, Brothers and sisters, do not be afraid to welcome Christ and accept his power. Help the Pope and all those who wish to serve Christ and with Christ's power to serve the human person and the whole of mankind. Do not be afraid. Open wide the doors for Christ. To his saving power, open the boundaries of states, economic and political systems, the vast fields of culture, civilization, and development. Do not be afraid. Christ knows what is in man. He alone knows it. So often today, man does not know what is within him in the depths of his mind and heart. So often he is uncertain about the meaning of his life on this earth. He is assailed by doubt, a doubt that turns into despair. We ask you, therefore, we beg you with humility and trust, let Christ speak to man. He alone has words of life, yes, of eternal life.